Hey, Santa Grover here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a short Logic Pro demo. I wanted to talk about a nice little trick in the automation where we are working with touch mode here. It's something you might know if you already work in touch mode, but it's really handy as far as workflow is concerned. And also sometimes I forget and it's really handy to remember. So I'm posting this video for me, but hopefully it's good for you too. And it's just having this creative dynamic control over all sorts of parameters. In this case, we have our Alchemy synth here. I am using the later Gator, which I've used for some of these um, gaming music demos. It's great. It sounds great. It's kind of messy right now, but that's okay. It's for the purpose of the demo, that is fine. Let's just go ahead and play it. And I have the, the touch mode here. And let's just have some good control over all sorts of parameters. Right, let's just mess with that a little bit later. And why don't we go ahead and take the opportunity to clean up some of these things. Oh, look at that. It's all nice and high there. <laughs> well, I have the screen expanded, but that's okay. We've got the list. You can go ahead and access that list under used. We've got delay. Looks pretty good. Nice and straight. Got cut off. Nice at 100%. Flanger, unison, a little messy there. We'll just keep it a nice straight line. Reverb, rena uh, renaissance, resonance. LFO, yeah, a little messy there. And that's all right. We'll use some nice lines soon. Let's bring that down to zero or close to. Decay, looking good. Sustain, looking good. Release. And all sorts of nice jagged lines there. All right. When you see the, the transform, let's bring this down a little bit. When you see the transform pad Y, pad X, that is referring to the dynamic control between these eight oscillator types. Really cool, really, really effective in terms of sound design. All right, so now it's great. You know, we've, we've got this list here quite high <laughs> uh, for this expanded screen, but we can only access one at a time. But if you really wanted a score of these effects, drop down with this little white arrow key here and minimize the width of every track. And there you go. You've got all tracks laid out for you and all this nice stuff here. So now I can work with some, some nice lines. We'll start, I mean, maybe we'll work with the flanger. Let's go ahead and let's try to have maybe up to here, just some dynamic flanger there and then bring it down. Maybe, maybe not until like the last bar or so. A little uneven, but that is okay. We'll start with a shorter delay and then by maybe the middle point, bring it up here. I have no idea how this will sound, but working with lines and automation is quite fun. I uh, will start, we'll start with maximum cutoff or, or maximum frequencies allowed to pass. Start, I don't know, I, I'd like it to, to ramp down pretty quickly at the end. So maybe 40. Unison, I'm actually not sure what that means. I'd have to look into that a little bit 
a little further for you. But let's try some short reverb and then bring it up maybe to about 50% or so. Resonance, I think I'd like a steady linear resonance probably up to, yeah, around 60, close to 60 there. LFO rate does change, um, and it can change dynamically with a linear line. Uh, let's go ahead and bring it up to, you know, something like one and then something kind of crazy. Maybe, uh, maybe a quarter of a beat there. We will also start with our, our high pass cutoff, um, start at zero. And I would actually like to go quite high there with an exponential slope. Uh, let's give it a very nice soft attack at the end. Maybe really, I would say last couple of bars. Decay. Probably nothing more than 35 or so percent. Sustain. I will say let's let's ramp down linearly. Release is always effective with uh, something something quick. Fifty percent is quite a bit in my experience. Um, now with this, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the alchemy synth and see where our numbers are. So this is X moving along the X axis there and Y. I think what I'm going to do is have each of them move toward 50%. So we'll move, uh, actually I'll say 75% or 65, that's fine. And then we'll start or is that again? All right. So let's see how this sounds. It could be awful, but it will be at least dynamic. And you have you do have to have it a certain width for you to be able to see all of these parameters. All right, that should be good. Let's see how this sounds. I'd say a little anticlimactic there. I would, of course, mess with it, but you can see with all these lines and values that it can work, that these parameters can move through time and space dynamically. So really, this, this white arrow here is quite effective. Yeah, you can access all the, the effects with this list here, but if you wanted to see it as, as a kind of music score, just go ahead and do this drop down arrow here after touch and you should be good to go. Thank you always for watching and listening. Always be on the lookout for some more sound experimentation every Thursday and hopefully some more live commentary every Monday nights. And until I see you next, keep producing the art you love and I'll catch you later. Thanks again. <laughs>